In Seattle, Washington, shortly after his marriage, Bruce Lee opened his first Kung Fu school, a modest operation conducted in a basement. His fee for a month's instruction was $15. He called it Bruce Lee's Kung Fu Institute. Such was its success that soon after he moved to Oakland, California, a city across the bay from San Francisco, and with a friend, James Lee, opened a second Kung Fu school. Bruce got his chance to break through to the big time. Raymond Chow, the chief of Hong Kong's Golden Harvest Films, offered Bruce a deal to star in his new film. It was called The Big Boss, in which he played the part of a country bumpkin forced to defend his honor. Bruce didn't expect The Big Boss to break any kind of record. But in his first 19 days in tiny Hong Kong, it grossed almost a million dollars breaking the colony's box office record set by the sound of music in 1966. More than one million people saw it 
in the Far East alone. Lee had given his character a human identity. In the West, his portrayal might appear clumsy, even high camp. But to the Chinese audience, it was an innovation. They were seeing real live people rather than stuffed punching bags. His next film was called The Fist of Fury and was filmed in Hong Kong. A flashback to the Boxer Rebellion of 1908, showcasing Lee as a Kung Fu student taking on a rival Japanese karate academy, striking a blow for Chinese liberation. Thank <laughs> you. 